world? It's your girl, Gigi. I'm back at you again with another product review as promised. On the channel, we will be bringing product reviews, restaurant reviews, and I will be cooking up in my kitchen, y'all. Adding my flavor, giving you my tics, trip, tricks. <laughs> That's right. This is a video, y'all. I can't go back. I don't edit. I'm going to give you my tricks. My tricks of my trade. I told you I am a former food truck owner. So I have a few tricks up my sleeve. That's right. I owned a food truck. It was one of my dreams. I lived it and it's behind me. However, I made some great relationships on that truck. That's right. My, my customers love me. I love them. And some of them were like some of the best friends and family you have ever met in your life. I have one in particular that come to mind with, I bring you this breakfast. We're going to, we're going to, um, review Vans gluten-free apple cinnamon waffles. So I call this my big breakfast. That's right. My big breakfast. And when I say my big breakfast, I, the name that come to mind that pop in my head is Amir. Amir. He would come up to the truck. He said, boss lady, I got that pressure on me this morning. I smoked me one and boy, I need the everything breakfast. When he wanted the everything breakfast, guys, he was talking to me. He was referring to every meat I had on the truck. That's ham, sausage, bacon, poly sausage, turkey bacon, turkey sausage, plant-based meat. He didn't care. He just wanted a whole bunch of meat to relieve his pressure. His pressure. That's right. Along with his sausage, I mean, along with his eggs and his pancakes. That's right. The everything breakfast, hash browns. And also I had a punch that they used to use for various reasons. Use your sanctified imagination to figure out what those are. <laughs> so they use that punch as a chaser. Okay. For y'all that's slow. Okay. So Amir got the everything breakfast and I mean, I'm telling you, the, the customers, they will come for breakfast. They will come for lunch. I had 95% males, 95% men. No disrespect to y'all women, but y'all cheat. That's right. Y'all come up on the truck making excuses about, oh, um, why did why that cost so much? I'm like, yeah, you know what? When they came up to the truck, I, I mean, I used to even serve T-bones. That's right. They come up, ask for a steak. I say, oh, I'm out. They were pre-ordered. I'm out. Because they will come up with a reason to try to get it cheap. And hey, running a business is not cheap. I'm telling you guys. So you guys who want to own food trucks, I say go for it. However, make sure you stick to your concept and do not sell yourself short. It was a dream of mine. It's behind me, as I say. And I lived it and it's wonderful. But today we're going to review these Vans gluten-free waffles. This is my big breakfast. I also brought back Bob's Red Meal. Uh, this is biscuit and bacon mix, but you can also use it for pancakes. And boy, it's oh so good. So without further ado, we're going to start this review. And guys, oh my God. This little piece right here, it don't even have any syrup on it. That's so good. Oh. And I'm using Mrs. Butterworth. I told you guys that this is my journey. So some of you guys may say, oh, my stomach re have a reaction to Mrs. Butterworth. Well, mine's done and it's good. I also have some beef bacon and it was sliced at the meat counter. This is my farewell breakfast. I am leaving um, New Jersey and I want to go out with a bang. So I did my big breakfast and I invited you here to join me. Guys, it's good. Really, really good. I wouldn't have done nothing different. It's good. really good I don't know why I just seem like I'm extra hungry this morning these waffles are really good take a bite 
<laughs> and this is the beef bacon. You see how thin it was sliced? This could be my thumbnail. <laughs> Guys, I'm really excited about the channel. We're going to be doing some different things, going some different places. The only thing that I don't like is when I'm out at the restaurants, I really want to do the review in the restaurants. But everybody playing that music. And I don't want any strikes on my channel. So... I'm going to figure out a way because I want you to see inside of some of these restaurants. Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Turn that gray to blue. Subscribe, like, and share the channel. We need an audience, y'all. It's people out here that need this. So I want this channel to progress so we can reach more people. There's people out here that think that they can't do the gluten-free diet even though they need to because they don't know how to do it. So I'm here to try it, products before you buy it, try restaurants before you go, and to show you how to prepare gluten-free meals in your own home. That's right. I got to do it because if somebody didn't share with me, I wouldn't be where I am. So I figured I need to pay it forward because somebody told me. They pointed me in the right direction to the product. I had no clue what I was going to eat when I was told I couldn't eat gluten any longer. So I was told you got to be careful. And if you never eat it again, you'll be fine. There's no medication, guys. To date, I don't know of any medication that could be taken. The only suggestion the doctor gives you is to never eat gluten again, to avoid, avoid gluten. So in most cases, that means cook your own food. Because if you cook your own food, you know exactly what's in it. That's right. Bob's Red Mill, every, every product that I have tried has been delicious. I encourage you to buy some of these products. These are very great products. They have very good texture. That The flavor is consistent. They don't sacrifice anything. You think you're eating a real deal. And you see how thin they are? I found the key to making pancakes is to make your batter the night before. You make it not better the night before, place it in the fridge, and when you take it out in the morning, your pancakes come out perfect. Y'all, this is the big breakfast. I'm knocking it down, too. I didn't know I was this hungry. Really, really good. A gluten-free lifestyle is a great lifestyle. Sometimes I treat myself to uh, good desserts and sweet things, but a lot of times you can just go straight protein and vegetable and you cannot go wrong. I'm telling you, on my food truck, I cook some of everything. Fried shrimp, fried chicken, fried fish. <laughs> they wanted to fry. they like, come on, bring it on. Bring me all the fried food. Then I might break them off with some uh, ribs. Chicken, jerk chicken, all of it. 
rice and peas, homemade rice and peas. That's right. We had it all. We had it all. And my punch, I could not turn the engine in my truck without my punch because they had to have that punch. I'm telling you, it's some tossing and some turning that I went through on that truck. One time I started my route, I started out on my way and I left my punch up high on the counter and it slid all the way to the back and fell off. And I was going down the road and it was spilling out all over the road. And I was like, I was about to cry. I was like, my mom was on the truck with me. I said, mama, we cannot pull up to the dealership without punch. If we do that, we might as well go back home. So I had to stop off, grab my ingredients, and do my punch on the truck, which was a task. So you know I had to buy bottles, gallons of bottled water, <laughs> and make that punch on that truck because I could not go to the dealership. That's right, dealership. I was dealing with men. I had to go to that dealership, and I had to have that punch because they want to know if they can come by there and get their mm-hmm to go with a mm-hmm and if y'all don't have a sanctified imagine imagination just say they had to have a chaser okay <laughs> yes those boys were a trip they were loyal and i tell you to this day some of them still calling me boss lady when you coming back out when you bringing the truck back out if they move from one dealership to another they call me that's how it was. They would connect me with more and more customers. And to this day, I'm doing catering orders for a lot of them. That's why right, your girl cater. I cook for other people things that they want. You know, uh, my motto was uh, I cater to you. Yeah, that's my motto in my catering business. I cater to you. So whatever it is that you like, even though I'm gluten free, I will prepare it for you. So guys, this is my farewell to New Jersey. I'm headed back home. This is my last day. So this was my big breakfast. I wanted you to share this breakfast with me. Continue to support your girl. Follow my gluten-free journey. It's been 17 long, long years. However, I'm headed in the right direction. We're going to try some new things on the channel. And I would love for you to be a part of that. Thank you so very much. As I always say, you are beautiful inside and out and god loves you and so do i please 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 share the channel out subscribe if you haven't subscribed i love you goodbye